Okay, right. thank you, Mike. You've gobbled up the turkey, maybe done some holiday shopping. Yeah, now it's time to think about giving back. Well, there is an organization helping people across Chicago, the Chicago land area, actually, and of course, the great Chicago Food Depository is who we're talking about. So joining us this morning is Megan Bennett from the Depository. Hey, thanks for coming on. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So, you know, your organization has called the need right now unprecedented and really unrivaled. Um, ha have things looked up at all since the beginning of the pandemic? I know that, you know, there was a lot of talk about that before. Where do things stand right now? Yeah, so while the need um, has slightly improved since 2020, we're definitely still not out of the woods just yet. Feeding America, our national network of food banks, estimates that approximately 600,000 people across Cook County will have faced food insecurity in 2021. So there's still an immense need that exists, and we know a need that um, people will still be recovering from for months and in some cases years to come. And unfortunately, um, across our community, communities of color will be facing that impact disproportionately, and their recovery will be even longer. Well, we hate to hear that. Also, a lot of us who are just shopping for ourselves, we've got that sticker shock when we get to the register because it seems like everything at the grocery store costs more these days. How is that playing out with regard to donations? Absolutely. So, I mean, of course, um, in, in terms of need, rises in prices will always impact people who are struggling to afford food at the grocery store. At our organization, due to rising food costs and increase in need, we expect to spend more um, than double this fiscal year um, on food purchasing than we spent last fiscal wow. year. But um, thanks to our generous donors, we've thankfully been able to keep up with that demand. So it's really all to our community that we're able to keep going. Yeah, so, so what do you attribute maybe, you know, could be at the heart of these challenges that a lot of people are facing right now? Absolutely. I mean, it, it's different from person to person, household to household, right? Food insecurity and the root causes of it um, really vary. For some, it may be um, COVID, the economic impact of the pandemic is causing them to face food insecurity for the first time. For some people, they may have been facing these struggles before the pandemic and COVID just worsened those those uh, things for them. But really the through line uh, for all these households is that they're in a difficult spot, one that no one wants to be in. And we and our community partners are working with the belief that no one should go hungry. Yeah, probably inflation doesn't help either. You don't really get a whole lot for your money these days when you go to the grocery store too. Yeah, let's talk quickly before we let you go. Is there anything in particular, Megan, that um, that you would like with regard to people who can help uh, because it is the holidays. Are, are there certain food items that you're looking for? Well, definitely we say donations go a long way. One dollar can help provide the equivalent of three meals for our neighbors in need. So that really does stretch um, when people are able to give. Um, people can also donate their time by signing up for volunteer sessions at our facility or by finding their local food pantry and inquiring if they need volunteers. But if people want to support us, they can go to chicagosfoodbank.org. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming on this morning to talk a little bit more about this. Megan Bennett from the Greater uh, Chicago Food Depository. We definitely appreciate your time and all the work that you do out there.